All right, so let's see what would happen if I enter in this state, set it to zero degrees Celsius, which this air conditioner is gonna be working hard to uh, keep it freezing. Click Submit. You see the blue LED turns on instantly and the current set point is now zero and it's in the current mode of cooling. So this is a pretty cool device. Tanner, tech, tanner, tech, tanner, tanner, tech, tanner, tech, tanner. Hello, this is Tanner Tech. All right, so here's another school project for you. This one is pretty cool. Uh, it's supposed to simulate a real world internet connected thermostat, which I had a lot of fun building this. So basically what we use here is we're not going to be using all the, the parts on this board. This is an ESP32, which is an internet connected microcontroller. This is a BMP280, which is a precision temperature measurement chip. We have two push buttons and an RGB LED, which is going to be used to simulate the air conditioner slash heater part of the system. If this LED is blue, that would mean the air conditioner is on. If it's red, that means the heater is on. If it's off, that means it's off. Um, and in reality, this could physically be hooked up to the control systems of an air conditioner and work. All right, so let's take a look at the user interface. So when I press these buttons, uh, quickly, it'll change the set point and temperature. So we can see here that the current set point that's stored in the server is 26 degrees Celsius, the current temperature is 24 degrees Celsius, and the current state of the system is off. So if I press these buttons, I can increase and decrease the set point. So let's say I want to press this button, bring the set point down to 21 degrees, let's say 20 degrees. If I hold it down, you can see the set point on the server readjusts itself to 20 degrees Celsius. But nothing is happening, the light is still off because the current state in the system is off. So if I hold down this button, we can cycle through the different modes. So that's cooling, heating, and off. Let's say it's a bit hot in here. We want to cool us off. So I'll set the mode to cooling and I'll send that information in. And you can see that the LED is now glowing blue, simulating the air conditioner was on. And that makes sense because the current temperature is 24 degrees Celsius, the current set point is 20, and it's set to cooling. If I were to change this to heating, obviously the LED would turn off because it has no need to turn on the heater when the current temperature is above the set point. This is the web interface side of this project. You can see the, it's the thermostat that we are controlling here and looking at. You can see that the current temp is 24 degrees, which is correct. The current set point is 20 degrees, which is correct. And the current mode is heating, which is correct as well. So let's say we want to adjust this. We're going to select heating. And then we can select, let's say, 28. We want the heater to turn on. So when I press Submit, that will adjust the values here. We can see that the current set point is now 28. And if you look at the LED, it just turned on. So let's say I want to turn off the system. I turn, click off, and then we're going to set that set point at like 28 degrees. If I click Submit, the LED turns off. You can see the numbers will immediately update on the screen. If I enter something absurd like 100 degrees, which I don't know why anyone would want to be 100 degrees Celsius, we turn on the heating mode. You can see that the display updates instantaneously. Right now, this system is just a proof of concept as required by my project in my class, but this can be applied to many different circumstances. I can replace this LED with a few relays or some transistors, and I can use this to physically control an air conditioner. I can replace kind of this ghetto breadboard setup with a really nice piece of printed circuit board in a nice plastic enclosure. And I can put a easier to navigate interface on here, and this can be something you could install in your house to control your air conditioner. All right. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this interesting. See you later.